something really interesting to see and compare. Well, Dave is working on retired veterans' uh, road glide over here. Can you throw up mine uh, with the stage two? Sure. One. F should I go Screaming Eagle or should I go after market and put a? Okay, guys. Yesterday was a very interesting day. Yesterday, John and I went to JD Cycle Works in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. We went to see Dave. John had his blue, his new street bob worked on. Had a new cam installed. Dave did all the install work and he was doing the dyno, the dyno tuning. What's so cool about yesterday and so actually interesting there were three bikes over there exactly the same bike with the 114 there were street bobs and they had three different three different cams installed they had can highly recommend to go watch John's video with the exact uh, exact specs and results over there because it was really really interesting to see and compare three identical motorcycles identical engines the 114s with three different cams being dyno tuned the same day getting results so it's really 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 uh, teaching really really uh, interesting you can learn a lot from from that video that John's gonna put out or put out already highly recommend check it out cycle fanatics and I just can't wait for that video to come out anyway but what's really interesting is while we were there we also had a nice youtuber meet us Jack determined veteran came and said hello he brought in his bike I think it's 2020 road glide Vader it calls it Vader and now now what's interesting about his his bike about Vader that he just did a stage 4 131 screaming eagle and what's interesting about that build is that he went uh, warranty a warranty build he calls it because he wanted to stay within Harley's warranty and he brought the bike in to be dyno not dyno tuned but to, sh to see the actual numbers that his 131 that Vader gets and he we had a, a nice we had a nice little uh, meeting over there uh, at the dyno at the dyno Dave was working his magic showing us the numbers and what was nice he has all the sh uh, charts and sheets from the past that uh, all the bikes that John had and other bikes and he laid all the charts one on top of the other and you can actually see you know the results compared like a, a stage a 114 stage 2 with a 475 compared to the 131 stage 4 screaming eagle and I was pretty uh, pretty amazed pretty shocked I must say from the results go ahead take a look at the determined veterans video about that and check out John's videos uh, as well you can pretty much see and learn from the results Dave is working on retired veterans uh, road glide over here. Taking that stage 131 stage four. Work, work is magic. Another determined veteran Excellent. in the house. Originally from New Jersey. Oh, I won't. 131. Well, I can't say stock, but it's basically from the factory. 131 stage. Which you're listening, John, this video. You're getting from me all behind the scenes. That's these. That's the part I love the most. Three YouTubers over here on one bike. <laughs> More than that. That's a big damn state, you know. But they, hey, I was blessed to be from Texas. Join the army in Texas and retire in Texas. So that's good. I love my home. Street.
pretty lean. Mm -hmm. But the mid to heavier load areas, it's not too bad. You know, now if we go to the dyno run, very light throttle, 14.0 is not bad for starting to get into mid loads. Heavier loads you want to be in here, high loads you want to be in this area. You know, that's all part of tuning and setting it correctly. Right. But you can see here, there's no tuning being done here, no change to the ECM calibration at all. Yeah, this is just, what does it make? Here's the graph, all that good stuff. Here is our dyno run. You can see our map. I could use a little work on the map. You see as far as time of being pulled, the knock retards. Mm -hmm. We ended up with 133 torque and 116.2 horsepower. I was, yeah. was closest. Yeah. I said 131. You were closer to the horsepower. I was closer to the torque. Yeah, you I said 131. <laughs> right. And you said 131. We didn't ask you what size engine. We yep. all know what size oh. engine. <laughs> no, I think we all had pretty good Yeah, guesses. we were I close. Mean, Every, I the, <laughs> remember, this is just a tool, right? Mm -hmm. So depending on if we went down to heavier air, right? Say comparison. This is what you gained when you got this package on a Harley Davidson. That's pretty good. It's a big, it's a big change. It's a big jump. It's a big change. Can you throw up mine uh, with the stage two, sure. 114, 475 cam, just sure. to show people? Yeah, yeah I was going to say, that's a, because it's, a pretty good comparison. It's very close. Actually, the stage two puts out more power. Yeah. 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 I can do that for you. Just well, so what kind of cams do you have in it? A little less torque. Oh, there you yep. go. So that's silver back on the bottom yeah. so that you guys could see. Yep. Yeah, so silver back, you can see here, it's it's a little change wow. everything on here. Absolutely. Very impressive. And, and and you've got a hell of a build because it's not only is it a performance bagger. So anyone that doesn't know John from Cycle Fanatics, he's got a great, it's a 2020 Rogue Glide, Rogue Glide. special yep. built up he calls Silverback. Right, right. For obvious One, reasons. 130 T-Man performance. Obviously, Dave does all my work. Um, just a great guy, and he just knows his stuff. There's a lot more that goes on. Awesome, in awesome know. info, Dave. Yeah, Thanks. absolutely. Thanks, Dave. I appreciate yeah. it, Dave. You're welcome. Also, holy shift here in the house, Thank and you. John from Cycle Fanatics. Thanks, brother. I'll leave appreciate both it. their channels uh, in the pinned comment so you can follow them. Thank I'll you. put Dave's information in there in the pinned comment awesome. as well. So. Thanks, brother. Definitely. Appreciate, I appreciate it. y'all showing up today, man. Thank you. Appreciate Being it. Being the voice of reason. Appreciate it. You know, hanging with this old redneck <laughs> from Texas. <laughs> as you know, um, Trading Blackbird, we're probably going to trade Blackbird in for a Lowrider ST that should be getting uh, next few weeks. The Lowrider ST comes with the 117. One of the things that I was considering, considering on doing with the new bike, was contemplating whether to to do a stage two, but remain within Harley warranty. Because uh, you know what, I know there's a lot of people out there that I want to say concerned, but say hey. I bought a new bike, it's got a two year warranty. Why would I not enjoy that warranty for the first two years? Which I totally can understand and actually can relate to because that's what I was thinking, thinking of doing. I'm still considering it. So what was interesting is when I saw the comparison pretty much between a stage four 131, stage four 131 compared to exactly the same bike, a Road Glide, a 114 Stage 2 with a 475 with no warranty. And the results, believe it or not, were very, very comparable. Very comparable. So that was very interesting. Like I knew that a Harley does their tuning and their uh, their cam design so they can stay within, you know the limits or within reliability let's put it that way not to not to put a lot of stress on the engine but I had no idea that an aftermarket for example the uh, 475 cam could produce results very 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 similar to the Screaming Eagle 131 stage 4 so that was really really interesting to me and it got me thinking, what am I going to do with what, with my new uh, Lowrider ST? Should I go the Screaming Eagle warranty upgrades? Or should I go aftermarket and put a 475 and then void the warranty? Good question. I learned a lot yesterday. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, hope you enjoyed this little comparison, this little video I did. At JD Cycles 
I learned a lot. That's it guys, hope you enjoy this video. I haven't decided yet, do I want to do a Screaming Eagle Stage 2, stay within warranty, or do an aftermarket and get way, way better results. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift. Till the next video guys, peace out. Yeah.